Hey everyone, so I'm back for another video and this one is going to be different because I am actually going to set up this TN. It is a B6 TN. I got this from my friend Franklin who was de-stashing it um, and I've had it for a while and I've been working on getting stuff here and there to set it up and I think I finally, I'm finally ready to set this up. So what I'm going to be doing with this TN, I will be making a, making it a plant TN. And what I mean by plant is it's going to be like a plant journal kind of. Um, Basically, I want to put all of my plants, all the house plants that I have, into something like this. And I, I have graph paper. I love using graph paper. Um, I made graph like a graph paper insert, and I have all of these papers that I bought. I want to say I got them at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, they're Hobby Lobby. And I have already cut these and made them into B6 size. And the next step I'm going to do is um, laminate them so they don't stay like this. I need a I will buy a laminating machine this weekend and I will show you the process of um, what this looks like but for now let me show you I'm gonna be p cutting up this paper into one of these inserts and I already set up the dimensions here let me show you with this one so I just lined it up on the corner here here and there and yeah so let's just let's cut this I do have a small cutting uh, cutting thing what do you call them a cutter but it's it's pretty small let me just grab it for you to show you it's pretty small so I can't fit the whole this is a 12 by 12 paper and I cannot fit my little cutter um, on this so I'm just gonna cut this way along this it's gonna be crooked but it's fine I already know it's crooked and Yeah, crooked. Maybe I can see if I can strain it out. Eh, oh well. So this way, I'm gonna cut it this way along the line. There and there, and it's probably gonna come out crooked. It did. You can t totally tell right off from this it did. But okay, so I have this set up. And this way and this way. And all I'm going to do is just fold it in the middle. Yeah. So we're just going to fold this and we have an insert. So we have an insert, I'm pretty, maybe I, I should put like stickers in here or something, or, hmm, I can line them up with another sheet, so we'll see what I end up doing to hide that, but yeah, so, 
how I kept up with my plants is just from this little sheet of paper. I wrote down when I got my plants. So I wanna write down when I got them, their names. I don't even think I have all of these. I don't, I don't have this one anymore. Okay, so I don't have these. I don't have, wait, yeah. Those have died on me. Corn plant, okay, I don't have that one. Dragon plant, I don't have that one. I don't have this one. Okay, okay. I don't have this one. And that's it, all right? Oh, and then I recently got, I didn't write down when I got my other one. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, so and then these are the other plants that I got. I wasn't even frame. Okay, so I just X'd out the plants that I don't have anymore that have died on me. And then on this, on the back of this, I just wrote down the newer plants that I got. So what I'm going to do, let's go ahead and start setting this up. Um, let me, hmm, I didn't even get markers. What's wrong with me? I know I have Crayola markers around here somewhere. Let me find them and I will get back to you all. Okay, I'm back with my markers and I also have um, these markers. I'll probably just use that green one. And let's just go ahead and start. On this first page, I think I'm just gonna decorate it. Um, and I am just going to discard. I think I'm just gonna decorate it with cute stuff, like stickers and like little sayings. I have, oh, I, let me show you the other supplies that I have. So I have these sticker books from Hobby Lobby as well, the Botanical Sticker Pack and the Plant Lady Sticker Pack. And then this came out of this because I guess I flipped through it too much. Who knows? But I will probably add more to this. I like this one. Let's get this one. And put it there. Super crooked, but yay! Oh, also, I am going to be using the greenery kit from Co uh, Coffee Planner Mom. I should probably put some of these on here. Ooh, Smarty Plants. Do I want that? Plant Parent, for sure. Mm. I'm gonna get this big Smarty. Ooh, yeah, I thought it was gonna be too big. It is not. Let's put it here. And I'm gonna, I thought I was gonna have to cut it but no, so excited to let my plants keep growing. Let's do, this here and then we'll do this keep growing. Just because the, the word growing on here is pretty light, but against here it, no, it's still a light on the camera, but I love the way it's popping up off of this little, what is that, like a, um, 
mini full box. Let's just call it a mini full box. So I have all of these full boxes. I have these and then I have these quarter boxes and half boxes. Okay, so I might add more onto here, but this is all I'm doing for now. So with my first plants that I got, I got some bamboo. Um, that's how they're sold at the grocery store. Bamboo and a ponthos ivy that I named um, Evie Ivy. Um, and she kind of looks... Maybe I should just highlight some of my plants while I'm here. Right? Uh, I don't think I... Oh yeah, here look. She kind of looks like this. So let's get this one here. Put her here. And let's write... Evie, Ivy. Um, do I want to write in black or do I want everything green? What do I want to do? I put them in here, right? I'm just going to see whatever the first green that I find. I'm not, even though I want to dig through here. Oh, no. I thought I saw like a darker green. Okay, we'll dig through there later. Okay, so Evie Ivy is a ponthos. And my mom had these. Um, she she's been a, a court coordinator for the courthouse um ever since she graduated high school and she got a job like right out of high school so she's been like a secretary uh administrative assistant kind of um and she used to have these in her office so i grew up watching her take care of them they're pretty easy to take care of um i've I've kept this one alive since, when did we get, what are we, we're 18, 19, 20, 21, we're three years already, wait, what's today, oh, she just had a birthday, well, the, the day that my boyfriend brought her home, so Evie Ivy was a Mother's Day gift, oh, wait, no, before Mother's Day, Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, a Mother's Day gift, because this was 2020. So this was a Mother's Day gift. Um, I'll remember. I'll know that it's Mother's Day. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write how to take care of um, a ponthos here. And then over here, I'm going to write the next plant that I got, which was bamboo. I don't even think I have bamboo on here. I mean, we all know what bamboo looks like though. I don't have one. These stickers were given to me by my friend, my best friend, Megan. Um, Cause I, last year I did a plant theme for August in my bullet journal and I like, wrote a comment or I did like a story saying that I don't have like money to get stickers so I'm going to doodle my own stickers my own plant stickers and then these just showed up at my doorstep like they showed up because my my best friend already knew my address and so she just sent them so thank you so much for that Megan I love you you already know that I don't know if I have any bamboo in here. It doesn't look like there's bamboo. I also have a bunch of cactus outside, but I never named them. And 
Wednesday kind of. So because we had a freeze, that like snowmageddon, whatever people were calling it, in February of this past year, of this year, this past February, um, a lot of my cat, uh, cactus outside has died. And I haven't had the heart to like throw them away yet. So they're kind of like, some of them are like withering and then other ones are, they're growing more. They're growing like extra limbs. So you see part of like the cactus dying, but then you see another part growing like new, like it's, it's just like regrowth, which is crazy because I don't know, like, it, I've never seen cactus do that. Oh, look, wow, cool. All right, so we don't have any bamboo. So what did I name these? I have Bambino. I'm gonna put all of these together because they are um, all together. Bam. Bino and then Bambi and then this I don't know what bamboo number three is but I re in in 2020 I repotted them so they're in two pots so instead of like having three of these bamboo in different pots they're all they're in two and I had some of the some of them have like some of the stalks have withered and died on me even though I'm really I'm trying really hard to keep them alive keep them happy um let's just say bamboo and bambini because I think the other part has I don't know I don't know which of these stocks belong to which which one I originally had. So Bambino I got when I got Ivy. And then I got this one. I want to say I did get this one also in 2018. But when? Let's just say I'm gonna say June 2018, because I don't know. Okay. So the next one here is Maisie, and Maisie is also looks like a bamboo. Let me just grab my let me just grab my plants so that you guys know what I'm talking about. Or you wanna know what? I'll just take pictures. I'll take pictures and post them. Like have a picture of them here. Because that's just that's just easier than you know getting up, moving around. Um, mm -hmm. I this kind of looks like one of my plants. Um, I guess this one kind of looks like Maisie. video is probably going to be super long because I'm all over the place with this. Okay, so let's just say this, where did she go? Which one? This one. No, wait, which one? This one. So yeah, this one kind of looks like Maisie. And we named her Maisie because she looks like the plant from Oh my, Albert. It's a cute little Christmas movie of about this little Douglas fir. Um, right, is it, it's a little, it's a little fir tree named, or no, named Albert. And he wants to be the, like think of New York City, the Rockefeller Center, um, Christmas tree that they have. It's massive. And this little tree 
wants to be, you know, their, I don't know what their, the fictional city is in the movie. I forgot, but it's like the, like think of like New York City's Rockefeller Center, um, Christmas tree. And Maisie helps Albert get to like the fictional city that's supposed to be New York City. <laughs> she helps him get there. And they have this little journey. It's so cute. Okay, so I got Maisie June 18th, 2020. And then the next ones that I got were Phil and Lyra. So Phil is my Monstera Deliciosa. So I'm going to put him here. His name is Phil Monster. And so with my, um, with my Monstera Deliciosa, I had him in one big pot. Just the way he came from Lowe's. I got him at Lowe's and he was so big. He, he, was, he was getting so big. So I propagated him and he is now in three different pots. Three. So he has grown and he's doing well in his like separate pots. I did have some of um some stems that did you know they didn't make it. But other than that, he is really good. He's he's been growing new leaves. I've been I fertilized them. Um I wrote it down. Okay, so this year I've already fertilized him twice. So once in April and then this past week I fertilized him again. And already in one of the pots that I have him in, he's like a new leaf is growing. So I have Phil and then I have Lyra who is a fiddle leaf fig. Oh, I forgot to write down, Ugh. I have to go back. So let me just write down Lyra. Mm -mm -mm. How do you spell Lyra? L-Y, yeah. I hate doing L's. In lettering, I don't like L's. So Lyra, not very cute, but There we go. And fiddly figs, I've heard, are very temperamental. They don't like getting moved around. They don't like any kind of change. So she has, I haven't moved her around. My space that I have here, so to my left, I have um, Maisie and I have Phil. And I have my elephant uh, elephant leaf plant. And then Lyra has been in the same spot since I got her back in 2020. Let me write down 6, 25, 2020. Oops, whatever. 2020. So, Ponthos. Um, I'm going to write here Lucky Bamboo, but Lucky Bamboo is technically part of the same family that Maisie is. And then Phil is a Monstera. Let me get back on that spelling because I don't, I don't want to misspell it. 
and Lyra is a fiddle leaf fig. And I have seen, okay, so with Lyra, a couple of her leaves have broken off. Some have been my fault. I remember I have some like decorative stuff on a shelf right on top of her and something fell and it knocked off one of her leaves. I felt horrible, but she's doing okay. She's fine. She's grown one leaf this past year and then I think she has another one growing. So, I don't know. I feel like she's she's going to give me problems if I don't treat her right. Okay, next we have mm -mm -mm, my cactus, which is outside, my elephant ear. I don't know if it's going to survive. The thing with elephant ears is they don't they so you know with plants there's like they have growth and they have leaves but they the elephant ear like once one leaf dies another like I feel like a leaf has to die in order for another one to grow which is it's annoying because I'm like okay so it's it's withering and what's gonna happen like are they gonna stay in intact or what's gonna happen i got super excited because this past month my elephant ear had like three leaves and it was it was so pretty and then now they've all died and there's one like withering there in the corner and i don't know if it's another one's gonna pop out so this elephant ear i don't know rex is a small little plant i can probably show them to you This is Rex. He's not super cute. He's, it says exotic angel. Oh, I, I think that was, I don't know. He's already gotten everything dirty over here. But this is Rex. He is, he looks like this and then I'll water him and he'll sprout up again, but I don't know how much longer this one's gonna last me because I haven't seen any growth. I've just seen him shed all of these little leaves. So I don't know about Rex. So I think I'm probably being a little biased and only like picking the plants that have actually survived on me, but it's better if I do that instead of like wasting a page on a plant that's gonna just die on me. <laughs> That's so horrible of me to say. Okay, so let me go ahead and then do my bird of paradise. This plant is super pretty. I don't think I have... <gasps> what? I didn't... I realized I didn't write down when I got my snake plants. Oh, now I have to go back into my journals and see. Okay, I'm back. I had to go into my bullet journal from last year. And I remember I wrote it down that I got two snake plants. And I was just looking up the date. So August 2nd, I got a big snake plant. And I named her Nagini from Harry Potter. And I also named the little one that I got Sir Hiss from um, Robin Hood. So I have Nagini and Sir Hiss, and they are in our bedroom because they don't need they don't need a lot of light. They um, something with like at like nighttime they admit like good oxygen or something I don't know I saw it somewhere and I was running out of room to like put them over here so they're in our bedroom so Nagini 
and Sir Hiss will be here. And they are snake plants. Um, so let me write down Sir Hiss. And I should have looked up Nagini. I think it's N I Nagina. No, N A G N. Oh, no. N A G I N I. I don't know, but I don't want to mess it up, so. I'm just going to write snake plants. And I've been wanting one because they're so pretty. They're so cute to look at. Um, they're low maintenance, very, very low maintenance. Um, August 2nd, 2020. Mm -mm. Okay, so then who's next? So I got those and then my Bird of Paradise that I got this year. I don't think I have. So a Bird of Paradise, I, I, that's what it said on, on the tag, that it was a Bird of Paradise. It's a huge plant and I feel like if I give it the if I give it the room that it deserves and the space it deserves it's going to be a very big plant because I've if you don't know I do have um so I have Annie Bear Bujo which is my planner account Annie is a bear which is my personal um my original um Instagram account I have a, an account for my dog, which I don't post on. I used to, but I haven't in a long time. And I also have Annie Bear Houseplants. I want to say that's the, that's the username I have. And on that account, I just I follow, you know, just houseplants. So people who have, like, accounts for their plants... I just follow those accounts there. And I scroll through there whenever I'm feeling, you know, overwhelmed and I just have like anxiety or, you know, things of that nature. It really, like seeing plants, seeing people decorate their houses um, and that whole like plant aesthetic in houses, it's just so pretty. Um, and I want to say I don't have any, any stickers that look like that. Oh, wait. Kind of this one. Yeah, I'm going to say this one. Let's see what else there is here. Mm -mm -mm. I wonder if I have more of these stickers. I thought I... Hmm. Let's look, even though I'm pretty sure I don't. No. Oh, here. Oh, but these are all flowers. That's why I didn't grab these. Yeah, because they're all flowers. Yeah, I don't have... I'm scared of like having flowers because I feel like it would just die on me. I think my boyfriend's tried to get me um, a bromeliad and that's like a, it's supposed to be a low maintenance like flowering plant, but I, it didn't work. <laughs> it, I, I killed it so fast. Um, what else? Oh, one. Okay, so I guess let's use this is here. I guess this one, even though it doesn't really look like it, it kind of does, but not really. Let's just use this. So it's a bird of paradise, according to. the tag that 
it came with Bird of Paradise. I've kind of wanted to name, I wanted to name it Mr. Wilson because I think in Dennis the Menace, Mr. Wilson was growing one of those, but I don't think mine is gonna flower. I don't know. Um, okay, so I know I don't have a sticker for the next plant that I got, which was on Valentine's Day. Um, my friend Nancy runs a small business called the 956 Golden Hour. And what she does is she propagates plants, she finds plants, she she puts these plants in super cute ceramic pots that she paints personally and it kind of looks like this yeah let's do that one so it kind of looks like this and what it is it's i don't know the um genus but it's called a monkey mask vine and i was this is the most expensive plant that I have. And it's just, it's so cute. It's the cutest one that I have, but it was expensive because I, because like I was saying, my friend Nancy seeked out this plant for me. She, she found it, she propagated it. She put it in this cute pot. Let me grab it. So this is my plant. She's so cute. She's growing a new leaf. You can see here. Ah, come on. Why can't I align this right there? And then it's in this cute little rainbow pot. It's so pretty. I love this little plant. It's like a little mini um what it's like a mini fill it's a mini what's it called a monstera deliciosa but it's called something else um but yeah it's so cute i love it i love this i love my little plant i put in there i i haven't named these past um couple of plants i haven't named so other than my snake plants um, these that I got this year, let me write down, I got this one on the 30th of 2021, and then I got my monkey mask plant on Valentine's Day of 2021, right before, right before our area froze, and we got that freeze, like, it was hours before we got like snow flurries and ice yeah that wasn't fun <clears throat> it was on a sunday and she came and she delivered on valentine's day another one of my friends came and delivered these cute um earrings on valentine's day too her name is melody she runs a um a small business called baha Bahar Bazaar. If I if I said it wrong, Melody, I'm so sorry. But she yeah, she delivered these right before Nancy delivered my plant and I'm just so grateful for these two who were braving the cold weather to deliver, you know, their like stuff from their business. These these girls are killing it. Oh okay, so this was the last plant that I had for a while. And then I got a fern and I named her Fern Mayo from Jawbreaker. I, I remember watching that movie in high school and being so mortified by it, but it's a really good movie. It's with, um, even, I don't know. It's a really good movie with uh, Rose McGowan. I don't know the other 
actors' names in that movie, but it's a really good movie. I don't have a fern. I don't have a fern in any of these. Uh, no. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm not going to have a fern in any of these. I already know. But... I guess, let's just do this, right? Mm. Does, do I have one in the sticker shop? I don't think so. No, no. Mm -mm. So a fern, I mean, my fern kind of looks like this, but I don't have anything like that. And this one, did I already look through this one? No, right? Oh, I looked through the other one. Where did it go? Okay, where did the other sticker book go? Was it this one? Yeah, this was it. Cool, I flipped to the where I wanted to be. Okay, cool. So here, let's see if this fits. It's not barely going to fit. I'm gonna probably put it in a little bit more. I'm just gonna tuck it over there. And then write fern mayo. And this one is actually hanging on a little hook that we have in the middle of, like right in the middle of our living room space and dining room and my area over here. And I, oh my gosh, I got fern in March. Cool. So, I'm actually just going to, I don't know what I should write in the front here. But yeah, this is my cute little TN that I put together. I love seeing all of their names. But yeah, if you all have any um, name suggestions for either of these two, or yeah, those are the only two that don't have names. Let me just look around my... Oh, I have another... Oh, I don't think I named that one. I'm looking at one on the shelf that I have over here. And I don't have a name for that one, but I don't know. I'll name it something. Um, let's see. So yeah, the bird of paradise and my monkey mask vine. I don't know what I should name them. And fern mayo. Hmm. Maybe I should, I'm thinking of what else I should do. Let me Let's, hmm, because I can just use these. Um, I, I want to write down when I, whether I repotted them or fertilized them. I want to keep track of that, but I just don't know how I'm gonna do it. I don't know if I'm gonna get more plants. I've been wanting a plant. Um, I don't know the name of it, but I know that it looks like the the plant leaf on top of Totoro's head. Uh, do I have one? Yeah, I have Totoro. So here's our little cat bus that we got our daughter. Um, and here's our little Totoro. And if you've seen the movie,
Totoro has like this little like lily pad on top of his head in a in one scene where it's raining and I want I've seen a plant that has like this round leaf and it grow it's it's cute but it, it's also like a weird looking plant. I think my friend Nancy has one. I know I talked to her about getting one but I'm not too sure um whether she has one in stock right now or not and you know we'll see we'll see if i find one we'll see if um i grab one of those but i don't know how how i want to track stuff pot it like it's hot i'm gonna i want to use that sticker for when i repot plants and oh yeah, so I'll use this one when I repot any of my plants. And then I'll use this one for when I fertilize them. Which is, um, I've heard it's, I'm, I need to go through like the care and maintenance and you know, I'm going to write down, you know, any specifics towards um, any of these plants, but then so then I'll, I will find out when I need to be fertilizing them, but I know with my um, Monstera Deliciosa plants, I heard that fertilizing them every month in the in summer is best for them, for their growth, and for them to keep, you know, sprouting new leaves. Um, they're the only ones that I really, them and my bird of paradise because this one's already grown like two leaves since i've had since i've had it and it, there's one that's growing right now and the leaf has yet, yet to unravel so i'm waiting on that but i guess i need to figure out should i just do more of these graph paper I feel like this video is already super long. So how about I finish here and I will start a new video using the coffee um, planner mom kit is showing when I'm going to, how I'm gonna set up the rest of my little inserts that I made. And then by then, yes, by then I will have them laminated. I will have new um, graph paper inside the inserts. And then what else should I do? Maybe I should learn how to thread them so that they actually are inserts and they're not just, you know, a little pamphlet in like paper inside of a, inside of a cover. Maybe I should do that. Like learn how to thread this so it's an actual like insert. Okay, so I guess I will organize and figure out what I'm gonna do for the next video. How I'm going to incorporate repotting and fertilizing um, my plants and yeah, let's just I think this is a good stopping point. So yeah, we have the cover, we have all of my plants, their names, the day that I got them. Some of them have their, um, what are they called? Their species, right? Their genius. Um, and yeah, so yeah, this is a good stopping point. I'm glad that I have all of their dates on here when I got them. Yeah, because that's important to me. I'm, I don't think I'm that much of a crazy plant mom to celebrate their birthdays when I got them, but it's a good reminder of, you know, when they came into our home and whatnot. But yeah, thanks for watching. This was a, I'm not saying that all of my videos are you know, well organized and thought out and rehearsed because they're not. So this one was a very impromptu, relaxed kind of 
video. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be long, but I will be editing it soon. And we'll see if I get it out maybe within a few a few hours from now. But yeah. So thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all good things, and I will see you guys in the next video.